The Korea Development Bank and the Export-Import Bank of Korea announced plans to save Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering by injecting a vast amount of cash. EJ1 looks into whether it will be more than just a quick fix. Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering, Korea's second largest shipbuilder, will be supported by a vast amount of money from its creditors. The Korea Development Bank and the Export-Import Bank of Korea, also known as Korea Exim Bank, will pump in roughly 3.7 billion U.S. dollars to the company. The fund will be used for recapitalization and liquidity support and the plans to decrease the company's debt ratio from 4,000 percent to 500 percent by the end of next year. The aid will come in exchange for the shipbuilder's selling of non-core assets, cutting down wages of executives by 10 to 20 percent, and downsizing some 300 manager-level officials. The company will also be pushed for privatization. After the two sides sign a memorandum of understanding by next month, the rescue funds will be gradually injected. As costs from the delayed construction of offshore facilities increase and orders are canceled, Korea's shipbuilding industry has been suffering from a few years back. The country's second largest shipbuilder recorded an operating loss of over 3.7 billion U.S. dollars in the first three quarters of this year. However, experts doubt these measures will be enough. Ship orders are expected to be more stagnated next year, and such uncertainty is a negative factor. Creditors, on their part, believe they'll see operating profits starting next year, putting Daewoo Shipbuilding and Marine Engineering's bailout under close watch. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.